Hello everyone, it's Will, and today we're converting low-res logos to high-res logos. Let's say you're a freelancer and your client just sent you an old PNG of their logo and it's tiny. Maybe from far away it looks okay, but when you zoom in, it's all pixely and gross. Don't worry, I'm gonna show you how to scale it up so you don't have to worry about that ever again, and it's only gonna take like three or four steps. Now this is really only going to work for black and white logos, but if you have a colored one, you just gotta save the colors in a swatch and then reapply them later. And if you want me to go more in depth, let me know and we can do a video about it another time. Okay, so get your logo in place. And if it doesn't have one already, make sure it has a white background. To do this, you can just make a solid behind it and then merge them like this. Now to really start, go to image and image size. Wow, 15, not great. Okay, so we're gonna go to resolution and set it to 300, which is the standard res for printing. Hit OK and the image is gonna blow up. No worries, just hit Command or Control Zero to fit it to frame. That doesn't look much better, if I'm being honest, so next we're gonna go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. This is gonna vary logo to logo, but just zoom in really close so you can see the lines and adjust the blur so those jagged pixels don't look so sharp anymore. Hit Enter, and now for the part where we actually make it look good. Go to Adjustments and select Curves. Now the Curves layer is going to control how much color between black and white is gonna be let in. In this case, we want to hide as much of that gray we made from the blur as possible. So start dragging these points closer together and voila! Look at how much sharper that looks. Now just use your magic wand tool and click and delete any of the white parts from before. And you might want to go in with your paint bucket tool and fill in a few areas that might still be white. But for demonstration, this looks great. To finish, I'm just gonna merge the curve to the logo. So we're all done with making it look nice, but let's take it one step further and vectorize it so you can scale it up and down without losing any quality. All you have to do is hold Command or Control and click on the thumbnail of the logo. Press M for your marquee tool, right click, and hit Make Work Path. Set the tolerance to one. Lastly, with your direct selection tool, right click again and click Create Vector Mask. Now it's a vector and you could scale it up to the size of a building without losing any quality. Hope this one helps. Give us a like, consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time. Even though working on design projects may be a lot of fun, it's still incredibly time consuming and even challenging. To help you save time while still creating good work, we've got design templates for Photoshop, which allow you to finish projects within minutes instead of hours. So if you want to start saving time now, start by checking out our links in the description below.